This time on the lateral line, it's one of those strictly land-based fishing missions. And by that, I mean that we are gonna use boats to access a land-based fishing spot. We met up with Hamish at some very uncivilized hour, and Hamish followed us down the coast into an area that I've never been before. I have fished this area out of the boat, but I've never driven up the coast that way before, and it was just really nice seeing some new country, if you know what I mean. It's not just myself, Milan and Hamish on this one. We've also got Jean from Strictly Land Based Fishing coming along. Jean jumped in his boat early in the morning and done the run up the coast and then met us on the beach where we'd planned to launch Hamish's boat. We um, said our hellos. Milan even made the boys a coffee and then we headed out on our Strictly Land Based Fishing mission. Not bad, eh, mate? <laughs> After that cold drive. Last time on the lateral line, the boys got a very welcomed invite to jump into a helicopter and go and land base fish Great Barrier Island for the day. On the way home from that mission, we had the plan of trying to find somewhere to target a big kingfish. And we ended up landing the helicopter on the island that we're gonna fish in this mission. Myself and Milan have done a little bit of fishing around that island and we've also done really well fishing around that island but I'd never thought about land basing it and when we were standing on that island fishing off that island on our last mission it looked really really good for land based fishing. It is deep water hard against the island. It is positioned right in the middle of a ton of current and on a good day it has got birds working all around it. We arrived at the island and started organising gear, but the boys were looking at the birds that were working off the end of the island and it was um, just too good. It was like, we've got to have a quick crack in the boat to see if we can catch something before we get off on the rocks. And the boys weren't fishing very long and Hamish hooked a kingfish. Oh, big bust up on the surface. Hamish's on. lure's going in. Come on, oh. Hamish. Come on, King. Oh, oh he's staying on the bait. He doesing want nothing to do with your lure. Get him over there, Milan. He's doing that. Hamish is frantically changing lures. <laughs> go, Hamish, go, man. Get him, get him. <laughs> That's a good fish. Wonder what he oh. oh, what was that? Kingy. That was him, bro. That was the kingfish. Yeah. Did yeah, he touch your lure? No, nah, he missed it. He's in, he's in. Oh, yep, yep. oh, oh you've got him. Oh, you've got him. He's him. <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> Hamish is. Oh. oh, Hamish was hooked up. Pulled the hook. Yeah. Gutted. There's more there. There was three. Yeah, there's about three, yeah. Was there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That fish pretty quickly spat Hamish's stick bait out and then um, we continued on fishing for a little bit. But given all that we've seen in the boat, I think today is gonna be epic. It is a little bit of a rigmarole to get on and off the boat, but this is exactly what Hamish built his boat for. And getting off Hamish's boat onto the rocks is the easiest dismount off a boat onto the rocks that I've ever had. That little um, holy crap handle up the front is perfectly positioned. And then yeah, just having that big open platform to just fire gear off the front while Hamish is going in and out is um, making this one a little bit easier. But once that was sorted, Hamish grabbed a ride with Jean and um, <laughs> done a little belly flop, which was pretty entertaining. If you're NATO sitting behind the drone screen, Milan was wondering what I was laughing about, but yeah, I could see it all unfolding. Hamish was trying to swing a big burly bag onto the boat. And... Anyway, bit of bad timing and a bit of bad organization skills from the boys, because that burly bag should have been offloaded onto the rocks on the first little um, offloading mission. 
But anyway, all of the boys are on a rock. All of our gear is on the rocks. There is a ton of current here. When we were driving up today, you could see the current line coming off this island. So we've perched ourselves right on the point of the island where that current is pumping. And right now there is burly pumping. The boys are just about rigged and it's on. Gene has a big smile on his face because he knows everything looks perfect today. Hamish is like, it's gonna happen. Milan has his always positive attitude and reckons he's gonna catch a monster. And I'm gonna do my best to film it. This one should be real good fun. I like your bag, mate. Got the stag on there for you. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great bag. Yeah, they got some good stuff made, eh? Or this belt, everything, eh? Who's that? Mate, mate, mate. New Zealand, yeah. Oh, yeah? Never heard of them, bro. You have to have a look, bro. They I'll have to stuff. check it out, mate. Get a lure on. Where's Gene going, man? He's morning <laughs> exercise, in, I think. Got to limber up before you catch a big snapper, apparently. Oh, okay. It's what, it's a fake fishing thing, I wouldn't know. I'm going to get this bird, Hamish, and I'm going to fly it down there and out there retrieving Hamish's lure because he cast it off after getting his braid on the rocks. Milan's playing with a bird. <laughs> this one's off to a great start. Got to play with the nature. Nature have all the fun. The burly trail's unfishable at the moment because there's so many birds that are just grabbing the baits. How, how can you contain yourself, Milan? No car wire snapper in it yet, so it's okay. Maybe you'll come up and eat one of those birds though in a minute. <laughs> That'll be good. Hey, got yourself a new stick, mate. Finders keepers. Finders keepers, hey. Finders keepers, you bloody legend. That's pride and joy. <laughs> that, eh? That's right. going to get me the fish today, too, I reckon. That's I hooked that fish oh, on this morning. Yeah. Nice work, bro. Good yeah, yeah. <laughs> hooks are expensive. Yeah. It was worth the paddle now, oh, eh? Was, man. <laughs> I'm guessing there was a bit of a method to uh, Hamish's madness because Gene has a carpenter tied on his rod. <laughs> Maybe not now, eh? Nah, I'll have to swap it out, eh? Have to swap it out. Lucky lure, that one. Oh, shark. Oh, no, it's a kingy, bro. There's a big king. Yeah, there's a pack of them. Yeah, there's like three or four of them. Good fish. Kingfish spotted, kingfish spotted, kingfish spotted. They're real big ones. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's on it. Good fish too, eh? Watch the size of the kingfish that eats that, NATO. It's going to be awesome. It's a good bait, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good winter bait. It's a good when bait. When you only want to catch a 30 kilo. It's a good bait any day, I reckon. How long is it going to take? Place your bets now. Which have I had in like five minutes ago, Nathan? I reckon if you had that bait there five minutes ago, you would have got it eaten. That's what we call saltiga life. Saltiga life. Yeah, gets to hang out on a rock catching kings. Pretty good life. Look at Hamish's one. Whoa! <laughs> Hamish is having one of those days. Belly flopped on the rail, cast a stick bait and snapped it off. Got a great snag. Like that's, <laughs> if you're going to get one, that's the one you want to get because that just busts you up. How many Feels like. Have you today? <laughs> None. Oh, what? Yeah, but he lost it. He does have you on that <laughs> one. <laughs> I'd love a live if you'd be sitting like halfway between your boat and here. Oh, what'd you do? Looks like it's snapper fishing time. 
Looks like Mingland's going snapper fishing now too. Yup. Yep. Gonna catch me a big snapper, mate, Can't catch me a kingfish. Uh, Hamish's boat started drifting, so he went out to stop it from hitting into Gene's boat to find out he had no anchor. Then he just got back under the rocks and he left the key on. <laughs> <laughs> Does that yeah, mean you're like going that. out there again? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, I can see the um, underwater light. The boat's not running, but the battery's on. Underwater lights are going, so yeah. oh, don't want to end up with a flat battery, yeah. right? Oh, oh, oh lucky you love paddling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been a little while away. <laughs> <laughs> All of these things you've got to learn now that you're a boat owner. Or, I was saying before, you just got to like limber up a bit. Fish, eh? like yeah, yeah, so bit of paddling to warm up the shoulders. I'll do some bait fishing when I get back. <laughs> Fishing so far has been a little bit on the slow side, which isn't a bad thing. Being out and just doing it puts a huge smile on my face these days. And when the fishing is slow, the time lapses and the drone footage is on the top of my list. And I really enjoy flying the drone around and trying to make the place look as beautiful as it is on my phone. On the bright side, high tide is fast approaching and slack water is, well, has proven in the past to be an awesome time to catch a big kingfish. Although I do prefer the low slack water as opposed to the high slack water, but at this stage of the game, anticipation is high given that we've seen kingfish. But other than that, yeah, it's a little bit slow. Hamish did manage to catch a snapper while at the drone up, so we've got something to add with the venison steak that I've brought for the boys to eat for dinner tonight. We're gonna to be eating like kings, if nothing else. But yeah, once again, bring on high tide and a massive kingfish. Go mainland. That's how you do it, NATO. That's how you do it, man. Do Bring that snapper on, man. I'm on those kingies for a while. Yeah. Put your kingie rod down, man. Catch you some dinner. We've got venison. Yeah, but it'd be always, it's always nice having venison and and big snappers. He's gonna be tasty. He is gonna be real tasty, mate. Gotta love burley trail. Big bait down the burley trail. <laughs> I even missed the cast, I was too busy stuffing my face. Oh, were you? Yeah. Missed the cast, missed the strike, missed it all. Well, that's what did the damage. A nice cube. Something just like that. It's a nice kingfish cube. <laughs> just in case. Oh, Gene's got a snapper bait out. He wants in. High tide came, high tide has gone, and no big fish sighted. So a new plan has been hatched. The wind's come up, and we are gonna try and get in on the coast, get out of that wind, get in some shallower water, pump some burley, and target some snapper. Middle of winter, 
is a great time to be chucking big baits for snapper and it is exactly what we're gonna do. And hopefully we get to see something massive before the day is out. But if not, we got more than we need to have a good feed tonight. We got fresh fish and venison that I got with my bow. And at the end of the day, as I keep saying, that's what it's all about. Getting outside, hanging out with some good men and trying to find a feed. The boys have landed on a little rocky outcrop off the main coastline. We are completely surrounded by shallow water with bomby, weedy, little sandy gut looking little bits and pieces that I reckon Snapper would quite happily call home. The burley has already encouraged a bunch of the mighty kahawai to be at our feet and the boys have cast baits and the fishing has started and we've got probably three hours max of daylight left so the boys have three hours to stick a hook in something massive we don't really need any more fish for dinner tonight although we'd love to take some home of course so if anything of perfect eating size and quality is landed it will be very hard to see that set free but other than that once again just kicking back on the rocks trying to catch a big fish hanging out with the boys and looking forward to dinner tonight venison and fresh snapper Whoa. I did Magic touch. There was a. Eh? Did your little paw at it and then he was like, nah, I'll have it back. <laughs> oh, Hamish might have hooked a decent fish. Looks like he's in the bottom to me though. No. Nah, he's still coming. Just this little bit of. Oh, now he's out. Big, oh, cool. Poor eye. No, wow. Stupid. No, it's a poor eye. That's awesome, bro. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. They eat something. I want to have a look at him. Got big soft lips on him. Have yeah. you caught one of them yeah. before? What a cool fish, Amish. <laughs> that That's is a, epic, dude. Yeah, that's such a rough trophy, right? That blue on his fin looks friggin' epic. So yeah. Wow, he's cool, Hamish. Yeah. He's real cool. Something different, hey? Very different. <laughs> that is a cool fish. He's off. Oh, that's good. He's just sitting there. Yeah. Oh. That was a cool fish, man. Stoked, man. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, rat. Well, that is it. The boys are calling it a day. We've got an awesome place to stay tonight, so we headed back there. And very, very cool day. The highlight of my day was definitely the fish that Hamish caught, those blue lines on its fins and all its funky colors. It was um, very, very cool. But yeah, headed back there, have some dinner, sleep the night away, and then up early tomorrow, get back to that rock a little bit earlier than we got there today. And I reckon we're with a good shot to catch the mighty kingfish. Looking forward to it. No wheels are spinning.
<laughs> oh, it only took like half an hour to get the boat out of the water, man. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Were they big or little? Little. Hi, Nene. Yo, what up, bro? What's going on? What are you doing? About to go to the gym. Wicked. Thank you, Milan. That was awesome. You're welcome, Nato. <laughs> More Mark Wahlberg. What's the, what is the river? What's the meaning of that? It's hot, so you got a job. I reckon today's the day that I form Hamish catch a monster kingfish. First time in his new boat. Nice, though. They're definitely there. They are there. Yeah, it's on, man. It's on. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Wet shoes in the morning time. Everybody loves it. Hey, I ran does. out the door to stuck his shoes on this morning. <laughs> Freeland's already hooked a live bait. Yes, it's stacks of bait in there, Hayman. It's like the perfect car bite. Oh, live bait's getting rigged and going out. Well, this one's off to a rip roar of a start. There's already a live bait in the water. Hamish is casting a stick bait. The weather forecast is saying we've got bad weather. Well, bad weather. We've got a heap of wind coming at like 11 o'clock, so Considering we've only got about four or five hours of fishing, we're going to stay on the boat this morning, not get off on the rocks. Utilise our time the best we can. And we don't want to stay on the water too long. We want to get off the water with a better tide than we had yesterday after yesterday's escapades getting <laughs> Amish's truck out of Amish's boat, sorry, out of the water. And with Milan having a live bait in the water and Hamish stick baiting, that is a recipe for a big kingfish. And I am really, really keen to see Hamish with the big kingfish because after all the times we've been fishing, I have yet to film him with a big king. And I reckon today's the day. I like that one, Hamish. That one's a beauty, mate, mullet. Well, is that what that is? Mullet color? Yeah, with a flying fish wing. Flying fish wing. Now we're getting a bit technical. Uh, just as soon as that sun comes up, a bit more prone to cut through the water column was the, the That's theory. The method, the method to it all. That's the theory. Come on, Milan, I'm hit, I'm hit. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm hit. <laughs> <laughs> I can only make my saltiga go so fast. <laughs> Poor Mr. Carboy's getting ragged old by a seal. Swapping again. Stick bait action. I reckon they're here. Let's go get them to bite. Why couldn't have the clouds been like that yesterday? Would have been epic time lapses.
The weather that was on the forecast showed up right on schedule, but not before a valiant effort was put in by the boys. Hamish and Milan fished solid for a little over three hours. We had a live bait in tow, and Hamish was casting stick baits and diving poppers and poppers and you name it, he cast it, and nothing. I was so sure after seeing fish there the day before that we were going to get a shot at something, but it is what it is, right? And what it is, is church time. I want to say a massive church to Andrew and the team at Enduro Trailers because I was talking to Hamish on the beach about his trailer and he told me that he never got a bill from Andrew and the team at Enduro Trailers. So church my brothers and sisters, without the support from people like yourselves, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Now, to all of you out there, church my brothers and sisters, thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line, liking, subscribing, commenting, and hopefully even not pressing skip ad. It is very, very much appreciated. I will leave you with another Milan house building video. And Milan is starting to talk about dates on when he can move into his house. So this thing, Milan's house, is very, very close to finished. See you all again very, very soon. There's nothing quite as rewarding as a project slowly coming to completion. An image in the brain was formed and over the past year and a half that image has slowly become reality. I think that's manifestation at its finest and I'm pretty happy with the overall result. I've compromised on a few things but the house was pretty much ended up the way I wanted it to be. With painting underway it's time to start the beautiful but challenging job of wallpapering the bathrooms. First off is the ensuite. Now wallpapering is something I've never ever tried, so Alex's mum and Nana volunteered due to having hidden talents as master wallpaperers. Kerry and Nana Knowles started laying out roll after roll and applying them making it look easy and simple. But I suppose anything is easy when you know how. Meanwhile Alex and I have started the giant task of sealing the master bedroom and getting all the holes filled ready for its final coat of black. Now black is no easy colour to get right and it's going to be a massive challenge to get all the ceilings and walls to look amazing. Black shows up every single defect and I'm not going to lie there are a few of them right now. But the house was meant to look second hand on the inside and brand new on the outside. So it's just about picking up a paintbrush and start and see what you end up with. With ensuite pretty much complete, it was time for the master paper hangers to lay down their coffee cups and once again start the task of gluing walls and paper. This time it was the main bathroom and a dark flowery pattern graced the pages where it was selected. It's kind of oriental in style with a palette of flowers and with black fittings should give the bathroom a great old school but elegant look. I don't know if we're going to get these things right all of the time, but you have to give it a go to know what does and doesn't work. But I know it's going to be incredible. With the girls taking care of the bathroom, it was time to screw in the extension pole and start painting all the ceilings out. I went with a dark forest green and we'll use lights to give the house the light we're required. And I'm hoping the dark ceilings will give the house a real warm, cosy feeling. And with living in the country with the flies, white just wasn't going to cut it. Unless you wanted to spend your life cleaning ceilings. This episode of The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by the Bowler Triangle, NATO's bow hunting YouTube channel. Without the Bowler Triangle, The Lateral Line would not exist. Hey, you little buckers, what are you doing, man? God, Jesus, you're just going to get shot, man. What are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs>